Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of real-world relationships, specifically how we can describe them in words, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a basic input-output table here, and we see the relationship. We've got the number of boxes in the left-hand column and the number of cards in the right-hand column. What we're used to is we're used to writing the rule as either a plus something or a multiply by something, but sometimes we need to be able to describe that relationship in words rather than just writing the rule. So let's figure out what this relationship is, and then we can figure out how to best describe it. So we see we have two boxes, and two boxes contain 18 cards. Three boxes contain 27 cards, five contain 45, so on and so forth. So my numbers are getting bigger. From 2 to 18 is bigger, 3 to 27 is bigger, 5 to 45 is bigger. And they're getting a lot bigger from 5 to 45, right? So I can either be thinking 2 plus something equals 18. I really think it's going to be a multiply because they're getting a lot bigger. But let's just see. 2 plus what makes 18? Well, that would be 16. 2 times 9 makes 18. So either of those could work right now. What I need to do is I need to figure out which one would work on that second row, right? So 3, could I say 3 plus 16 equals, nope, that's going to make 19, but it should be 27, so that's not going to work. Could I say 3 times 9? Yeah, that's going to work. That's the 27. So it looks like my rule here is going to be times 9. But sometimes, when we are solving problems, it's not all about finding the rule. It's about finding the best way to describe it. So how can we write that in words? Well, we could write a statement like this, and I started it out for us. To find the number of cards, what did we have to do? Well, we could say, you have to, well, what, what was the math we did? Well, we did the multiplied. So we multiply the, and then what do we multiply? We multiply the number of boxes by what? Well, we multiply the number of boxes by 9. So let's look at that sentence. To find the number of cards, so let's use an example here, 99. You have to multiply the number of boxes, that's 11, by 9. So does that work? 99 equals 11 times 9. Yes. Let's look at another example. So we have another table here, and we have a teacher is giving some extra credit to uh, her students, and we need to figure out how we can describe the amount of extra credit that our teacher, the teacher is giving to the students. And so we have a table here, and this one is going to uh, end up going side to side. And so we see we have an original score of a student scored 75. The final score was 80. If a student scored 85, the final score was 90. 92 to 97, 97 to 102. So I need to find the rule first. It looks like we're still getting bigger. Uh, so it's going to be an addition because I can't think of anything that multiplies from 75 to 80. So let's see, 75 plus what equals 80? Well, that's just going to be 5 away. So could we say a plus 5 for each of these? Could we say 85 plus 5 equals 90? Yes, that works. 92 plus 5 makes 90. Yep, and this child got over 100. Good job. So the rule is plus 5. Now, how could we describe that in words? Well, we can. What did the teacher do? The teacher, and we're going to use uh, our, the words here for our operation. The teacher adds 5 points to what? To the original score to get what? To get the final score. And that's how we can describe this relationship in words.